Uh, hi everyone. So today we'll see uh, one more entire question. What is mean by ODS? Okay. So they can ask a direct question like uh, ODS, or they can ask like, what is the project uh, flow? So can you explain? So in that, so you can see the term called ODS. Okay. So what is mean by this ODS? Okay. So what is nothing but like uh, operational data store? So this is like a, a replication of your source DB. I mean to say that, so OLTP we have, right? So OLTP we have, it contain n number of source systems like S1, S2, S3, okay? So this might be a database, this might be a file system. Again, this might be a database. So OLTP, it contain different source systems over here. Okay, so instead of directly touching this OLTP or performing some operations on OLTP, so I don't want to corrupt the original system. Okay, so to avoid that one, to reduce the burden of OLTP, this one, so system. So we use this ODS. Okay, so what is this ODS? It contain the a replication of the data from this into this. That means we are not directly touching the source system. We are replicating whatever the data in um, this OLTP to ODS. That means it contains the copy of the data here, so you can perform any of the operation. That means we are not touching the source data directly. That means you are not querying here or you are not updating here. I, I, I'm not doing anything here, just I am replicating all the data into ODS. I mean, to say that the same data, whatever we have here, into ODS, here you can perform that. You can perform all the operations, just like a, it contain a copy of or a replication of this, so databases into this. And if anyone asks that, so this ODS acts like a bridge between this OLTP and this OD, sorry. Uh, data warehouse okay if anyone knows that so ods is like an operational data source it contains the replication of the oltp and ods acts like a bridge between the oltp and data warehouse okay so why they're using this they reduce the burden of this oltp they're using this ods so why why, uh, why they're saying the i mean a term called reducing the burden so instead of doing like this like it's like a Live data. In, instead of doing all these operations like querying, I mean, suppose you're performing some operation on this database, instead of doing the direct database or direct uh, system, whatever they're using. So we are pushing everything into this ODS and here you are doing all the operations. So to reduce the burden of OLTP, we use this ODS. Okay. And also, so ODS integrates the data from multiple source systems and Keep it into the ODS. Okay, so this ODS like is play a I mean key role. So it just contain the replication of the data. Okay, so after that, what we'll do? So after that, whatever the data in this ODS, we move to staging area. So staging area is a temporary area. So here we'll always contain the truncate and reload. Okay, so this like just we are performing some transformations or we perform some logic from this to this if they if they required or else if you want to copy the same data to staging area yes that's also fine but staging area is a temporary area here all the data is like a truncate and reload okay so here if you want to perform some etl logics yes you can do that and you can load it to the stage area Okay, so after that, we load it into data warehouse. So this is the flow of the project usually. So all, almost all the data warehousing projects, you will have a OLTP, then they'll replicate to ODS, then, then they load it to stage area, then finally they'll move to data warehouse. This is the project flow. If anyone asks an interview, so you can explain that. So this is my project flow. So here, this is the OLTP. So this ODS is not mandatory, I can say that. 
but usually so majority of the projects we follow this four years concept because to reduce the burden of this suppose so can't we implement a project without ODS? Yes, yes, we can implement. We can directly load from this to this also possible. But we use this ODS yes to replicate the data of the source systems. So someone asked, right? So without ODS, yes, can we implement? Yes, we can implement it. So if anyone asked that, so you can say this is the project flow. So we this is what we are loading into the data warehousing. So you can explain also like that. So so here again, they can ask a question. So what is the staging area? So as you know that, so we perform all the logics in the stage area. Okay, so, so we can implement all the ETL logics here. So it's just like, a, as I said, I mean earlier, it's a truncate and reload. This is a truncate and reload. So, so why I'm saying it's a truncate and reload is stage table that contain like a temporary data. That means, now let's see, I am having a file over here. From file to ODS, you have loaded. Let's see, I mean, say that from, sorry, not file, OLTP. So OLTP, it's like for some file system, let's see. Okay, so ODS, you replicated the data. So now you are doing from ODS to stage mapping you are doing. So here, it contained today data. Let's see. This file, suppose let's see file, file one contains today data. So you are loading to stage area by applying some, some logics. Okay. So here, whatever the data for today, you just loaded here before loading to data warehouse. What is the data warehouse? It contains the history of the data, right? That is the purpose of data warehousing. So you are loading from this file to the stage area. Just like you are copying all the data from file, you are loading into stage area. Once you load from stage area to data warehouse, this data may not be required because the data warehousing, we already maintaining the history. Okay. So here stage area, you may not, you may not, uh, you may not, uh, not, uh, not maintain history because we just need a latest data here. So we keep it here. So once that is loaded to data warehouse, so you can truncate this data or you can remove the data. So even though if you maintain history, there is no use because it's a stage area. So stage area, we never mentioned, I mean, maintain the history. So just we load the data from the source system and we'll, by applying some logics and we'll store it here. So once we push the data from stage area to the data warehouse, then we, remove the data from the stage area. That's the reason stage area we call it as a temporary area and we call it as a truncate and reload. Okay, so once you push the data from here, we just load the data into data warehouse. So how we truncate and reload the data? So if they ask a question, so yeah, as everyone knows that in session level, we have an option, right? Truncate and reload that also you can enable. Suppose uh, there is a restriction to uh, restriction in the project, we should not use this truncate and reload option. So what should I do? Yes, we have a pre-sql, post-sql, right? Pre-sql we have, post-sql we have. You can write a query because when you want Truncate when you want to truncate once we load the data from stage table to data warehouse, then I want to delete the data. That means you have to write a query in the post SQL once the loading is complete, then delete the data in target. So, such kind of logics you can implement over there. So, that's what about the ODS and stage, how, how we use in the projects. If anyone asks, can you explain the project flow? You can simply say that like this I have a OLTP. So I have a different source systems. We integrate the data from OLTP to ODS, ODS to stage we load by applying some ETL logics. Stage contains a temporary data. So it is like a truncate and reload. From this, we load it to data warehouse. So data warehouse contain a history of the data. That means we have a current and old data also. So that is what the project flow, if anyone asks. So here two, three questions we covered. Okay, what is mean by ODS? Or if they ask what is the project flow 
or if abort receive they ask some questions about stage yes you can able to answer so if you always try to explain in a simple manner so that is easy to explain and also interview also able to listen that and also if they ask any questions on this you are able to answer it so that's what make it everything is very simple so suppose now this you know we have mentioned that a small flow if they ask about the OLTP, yes, you can explain. Okay, so if they ask about the question of what yes, you can explain. Stage, you know that. Because OLTP, suppose they may ask question what the difference between OLTP and OLAP. So this type of questions will come. Anyway, so the terms, whatever you explained here, so they'll ask, suppose they, they want to ask what yes, yes, they can. Suppose they ask a question now, can you explain the project flow? You just explain this is a OLTP. We integrate the data to over yes, then we load the two stage, then to data warehouse. Then there is a possibility here. They can ask a question like this: OLTP versus OLAP, and what is meant by word yes, and what is meant by stage. Okay. So about suppose they want to ask some question. So what type of data you are maintaining in the data warehouse? Yes, the questions comes around this only. Suppose unnecessary if you explain something, right? What we don't know again. There is a the possibility the questions comes from the out of the box. So that's what everything, whatever we explain, explain is very short. Okay. So that's like only should have a valid points. So what is we can explain like a so like a 30 to 40 lines also, or else you can write one full page entire about what is. But what is what they want? What is the use of this what is? What is is a Replication of OLTP. To reduce the burden of this OLTP, we, we use the ODS. So ODS just it, it, it integrates the data from different source system into ODS. It acts like a bridge between the uh, OLTP and data warehouse. So in this, at least if you explain one or two key points, right? that is fine. Instead of explaining that key points, if you say some theory, no one will listen. So here, what are the key points here? The key points here about the ODS. It is a replication of the OLTP. That's the first point. Second thing is, it acts a, like a bridge between the OLTP and data warehouse. Or else, two points we have seen. Third point, it integrates the data, bit, data from multiple source system into ODS. Why we use this one? To reduce the burden of OLTP. Four points. In out of four, if you explain two points, I mean the two key points, suppose you forgot two points, you only remember two points, that is fine. Because they, they want the keyword. So this keyword, okay, only thing is they, so what they expect is whether they know about the warriors or not. Somewhere you Googled it or else you worked it. So they want to identify. If you say some theory which you don't know, for sure they will catch you not work somewhere you google it and explaining here if you say this type of keywords there right absolutely they come down because you work somewhere so you you have uh, you have idea about that some particular points so that type of things the only the keywords we expect eh, whenever you explain if the keywords match right so we'll close the question if keywords not matching you are simply like like explaining some theory or like continuously, uh, like, how can I say that? Some uh, reading, some uh, uh, some text, right? No one will listen. So that's what always as I said, right? That is the uh, best approach. Whatever you know, just explain it in very short. Okay, this that that should contain the key points. That is fine. It will save a lot of time and also it will have a good impression. So this is a, if anyone asks, right? Is it a, how, what is the your project flow? You can explain this one. So this is like a default question, right? Sometimes they ask the first question, once they explain that roles and responsibilities, the first question they can ask, like, can you explain your project? I mean, so sorry, once they explain the project, can you explain the project flow? You can explain this one. Once you explain that, as I said, there's a possibility of this. These are the questions. So that is what about this word is. So I think it will be clear for everyone. So we'll see in the next session with different.